Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a very beautiful flower part. So I have two versions here, the mini version and the bigger version. So this one, the mini one, it's very cute. And this one, the bigger one. I try to show you guys on the side way here. It's difficult because all my stone gonna fall out. <laughs> so yeah. Look at that, beautiful. I love it. And I also have free written pattern for this two version on my blog. I will put the link in the description below. But if you prefer a PDF, pinnable version, is available for purchase on my Etsy shop and my Ravelry store. I will put all the link in the description below. And then the size for the mini one. So it is 7.38 inches around circumference. Okay, and then 2.13 tall. All right, and then I will talk about how the pattern work a little bit. So I have to dump my stones out first. So we will start right here. We will make magic ring and then crochet around around. So from here, from this first row, all the way up here, I make total of six round, okay? For the mini side. And after that, weave the end and put all the stone in. And then put the flower in. That's it. And I will show you the size for the big one as well. So this is 14.76 inches around circumference. Okay. And then 2.66 inches tall from here to here. All right. And then this again. I dump it out real quick. All right. We will start right here. From here or around up here, I have eight rounds. Okay. And now, if you want taller, just keep adding more rows. Do exactly the same. Repeat very easy. Just repeating more rows. Same as mini side. You keep repeating more rows. All right, and after you're done, weave the end and put all your stone in. I put all my stone in real quick. Okay, after that, put your flower in, whatever flower you choose, and then you're done. It's very easy to make. It's very easy. It's great for beginner. All right, and I will put the gauge and everything in the description below, as well as free written pattern and also PDF pinnable version. I will put everything in the description below. Please go check that out and let's get started. Here is the materials that you will need for this project. So for this project, I'm using teacher yarn. If you don't want to use teacher yarn, you can substitute to super bulky yarn as well, but it'll turn out a little different. Keep that in mind. Okay. And yeah, this is teacher yarn, 100% cotton. And it's 90 yards per each ball. I have two ball here. We're not gonna use the whole thing, not even one ball. We just use a little bit. But I just wanna show you guys when I order it, this is how it's come, okay? If you wondering, where I order and how it's come. I just want to show you guys just in case. Okay. And this is my first time order the yarn from this shop. And I love it. They ship really fast. It's about three to four days. And it's very good quality teacher yarn so far that I have used. Okay. And I definitely go back to this shop. And yeah, I will put the link in the description below as well where I got this yarn from. And by the way, I get from uh, Etsy, okay? And we just use a little bit, okay? Not the whole thing. <laughs> and then crochet hook, size 10 millimeters. 
your needle, scissors, also from Etsy, <laughs> and stitch marker. And then this stone, this does look like. You can use any kind and any color. This is what I use, and I bought this from Joanne. And plastic fake flower here, which is used. You don't need that much, but I just wanna show you some idea. You can get this one in the little pot, or this one, or you also can mix two of this in the pot as well. Just some idea. Just wanna show you guys. Okay, and I also bought this flower from uh, Joanne. I just walk in and then bought it. Okay, let's get started. Ooh, look at that, guys! It's <laughs> really beautiful. I'm so excited. It's my first time. And yeah, I wrap the yarn out from the outside. Yeah, and then first. We're gonna make a magic ring. So I twist the yarn like this and hold it right here. And then insert the hook into this ring space. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, it's the part of a magic ring. So now we're gonna make six single crochet into this ring space. So here is the magic ring, okay? So I insert the hook into this ring space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all two loops. This is the first single crochet. And then I'm gonna place the marker into the first single crochet here. And then we're gonna make five more single crochet into the same ring space. So instead the hook into the same ring space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all two loops. Now we have two. Insert the hook into the same ring space, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, put the both loop. Now we have three. Repeat that. Insert the hook, pull up a loop. Four. Five. And six. Okay. And when you have six single crochet into this ring space here, you're gonna pull this tail tight to close up the hole. So I pull it tight. There you go. So this is round one, okay? So now we're gonna make a center single crochet. Some people call uh, knit stitch look. They have different name, but I call it center single crochet. I also have video tutorial for that uh, center single crochet stitch. I will put the link in the description below as well if you wanna go see that video. All right, but I'm gonna show you guys in here as well. So a center single crochet, you're gonna go into the center here. Okay, so normally single crochet, we go into this V shape on the top, right? But center single crochet, you're gonna come down here to this V shape on the bottom here. See next V here, next V here. All right, so now round two, we're gonna remove marker first. And then make two center single crochet into each stitch around. So the first stitch we're gonna go in here, this V. Okay. Oops. This one right here. Go in there and go out like that. Okay. So insert the hook into that V. It's pretty hard on teacher yarn. Okay, and this is on the back, and then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loop. This is the first center single crochet, and then we always gonna place the marker into the first stitch in every round. This is the first stitch, and then make one more center single crochet into the same stitch. So go into the same stitch here. Okay, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through both loop. All right, and then next, we're gonna make two center single crochet right here. 
Okay, so normally this state, right? If we're gonna make normal single crochet, but we go right here, make two center single crochet there. Oh, okay, <laughs> pretty hard. So one and then one more into the same stitch. Okay, and then next gonna be this one. Okay, make two central single crochet there. To the same stitch. It's pretty hard on your hand, guys. I get it. Who don't like teacher yarn, but I like it. <laughs> All right. And then next, sometimes it's difficult to see. You can open it out a little bit. See, and you can see next stitch gonna be here. We're gonna make two center single crochet in there. In one more into the same stitch. Okay. And then next stitch gonna be this one right here. Make two center single crochet in there. One and one more into the same stitch. So this is gonna be the last stitch that we're gonna make two center single crochet in there. And I also gonna uh, bring this tail up so I can whip this in right here. You don't have to, you can whip the end later. So this one, but I like to uh, work over this one so this hole is closed up better all right i have one already here and make one more into the same stitch right here okay now i'm at the end of round two and i have 12 center single crochet stitches now for round three if you make a mini side, you just make one center single crochet into each stitch around. And every round, you're gonna have the same amount of your stitches from now on, which is 12 center single crochet stitches. But if you wanna make a bigger side, like I'm gonna show you now, we're gonna increase one more round. Okay, so round three, gonna increase. So I remove marker and then make uh, two center single crochet into each stitch around. Do exactly the same when we did round two. So the first one, which is right here, we're gonna make two center single crochet in there. Okay, this is one. And always place the marker into the first stitch. And then make one more into the same stitch. Right here. Okay, and then next, which is right here, make two center single crochet there. One, and then one more into the same stitch. See, if you make a mini side, you just keep making one center single crochet into each stitch, not increase at all. But now we just, I increase because I make a bigger side, okay? So next, gonna be this one. 
make two center single crochet in there. One, one more into the same stitch. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep making two center single crochet into each stitch around. So, like I said, if you don't see the stitches, you can open it out a little bit. So you can see this is the next stitch. You're gonna make two center single crochet in there. This is gonna be next stitch. That you're gonna make two center single crochet in there. And then this is next stitch, next stitch, next stitch. And see, this is difficult. You can open it out. So you can see here, this is next stitch, next stitch, next stitch, and next stitch. Okay? And yeah, keep making two center single crochet into each stitch around. And I will meet you guys back in when you reach the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three and I have 24 center single crochet stitches around. And uh, at the last two stitches, I also bring this tail up and then I work over it. That's what I'm gonna do in every round when I at the end. You don't have to do that. You can use the uh, your needle and weave the end later, but I just wanna tell you what I do. All right, so for, uh, for round four to round eight, we're just gonna make one center single crochet into each stitch around, no more increase. So round four, remove marker first, and then make uh, center single crochet into the first stitch here, right here. So insert the hook to the first stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. This is the first center single crochet and then I place the marker. Don't forget to place the marker into the first stitch in every round. Okay, so no more increase. Make center single crochet into next stitch. Okay, center single crochet into next stitch here. Yeah? Right here. Next stitch. Make one center single crochet in there. See, we're not increase anymore. All right. And then you're just gonna make one center single crochet into each stitch around. Let me point out for you real quick here. So next stitch gonna be this one. Next stitch, this one. Next stitch, this one. Next stitch, this one. Next stitch, next stitch, next stitch, next stitch. Next stitch, next stitch, next stitch, next stitch. And next, 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 next. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. And when you're not sure, like I said, you open it up a little bit and you can see it better. So you not skip any stitches, all right? And yeah, keep making that all around. And I will meet you guys again when you reach the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four. And they have the same 24 stitches around because we're not increase anymore. And also the last stitch, I work over this tail again, just so you know, <laughs> all right? And yeah, for round five to round eight, repeat round four, which is one center single crochet into each stitch around. And every round, you should have the same amount of these stitches because we not increase and decrease. All right, so yeah, round five, I show you a couple stitches. Remove marker first, and then one center single crochet into the first stitch here. This one. This one. And then always place the marker into the first stitch. And then center single crochet into the next stitch here. Right here. Center 
same pattern now. It's very easy. Next stitch here, make one center single crochet in there. All right. And yeah, keep making that around, around, around till you reach the end of round eight. And if you want taller, you keep repeating more round as much as you want. Okay, for me, I make total of eight rounds. And I will meet you guys back in when I reach the end of round eight. And again, don't forget to place the marker into the first stitch. And good luck. Okay, now I reach the end of round eight. And then I'm just gonna uh, fasten off. But if you want longer, just feel free to add more rows. Exactly the same, okay? For me, I like this side. I don't want too tall. Okay, totally up to you. All right. So this is the last stitch of round eight, and then I'm just gonna cut the yarn. I leave about six inches tail, and then now I'm just gonna pull the yarn out of this loop here. And then I bring my yarn needle, insert the yarn to the needle, like so. And then next, I'm gonna skip the marker stitch and then insert my needle into the next stitch, like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna remove marker, bring it in. Like so. And then I insert my needle back to where the yarn come from, which is the last stitch here. Back in this V shape and go into the back like so. And we just create a new stitch here. That's why we skip one stitch. This is what I like to end my work. I think it's beautiful. As you can see, it's just very smooth, beautiful. All right, and then I'm just gonna weave the end. Then insert back. Nothing fancy, just hide the tail. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim those tail. And now we're done with this part, and next I'm gonna bring my stone. And I'm just gonna put it in here. Actually, I have more than this. I put in the other part right now. <laughs> okay, so it look like, and then I'm gonna bring my flower. Here's my flower. Now you can pick and you play around with it. Like what color you want to put in here, what kind of flower. So maybe I put this one in here. Let me try first. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, perfect. I hope I can show you guys the side way. The, all my stone going to fall, fall out. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Or you can play around, maybe put this one out, put this one in. See, you can play around with it. Here it is. This is the bigger one. This is the mini one. See, I just put it in here, 
It's very cute. I love it. And yeah, congratulations. You just create a very beautiful, very cute flower pot. And if you want to share with me, you feel free to text me on Facebook or Instagram. I will put all the link in the description below. Oh yeah, one thing. I just want to show you the yarn that I have left. This one. This, I still have a lot left in one ball. And the other ball earlier, I don't touch at all. <laughs> so this is what I have left in one ball. Still a lot left. We just use a little bit. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye bye.